I now want to explain how to find the tangent plane to the graph of a function of two variables. Before doing that, let's first review how to find the tangent line to the graph of a function of one variable. So how to find the tangent line to the graph, say, y equals f of x at a point x0, y0. And y0, of course, is f of x0. So the picture looks like this. So here's our graph, y equals f of x. Here's a point, x0, y0. The tangent line looks something like this. And we know that the slope of the tangent line is f prime of x0. So if we know a point on a line and its slope, then we can write the line, the equation for the line, in the form y minus y0 equals the slope, which is f prime of x0 times x minus x0. So if you put x equals x0 and y equals y0, then this equation just says 0 equals 0. And then if you have a different x and a different y, then it says that the y displacement from y0 is equal to the x displacement from x0 multiplied by the slope. So that's a nice way to write the equation for a line. Okay, so now let's generalize to a function of two variables. So how do we find the tangent plane to the graph z equals f of x, y at a point x0, y0, z0 equals f of x0, y0. So let's draw the picture again. So here we have our surface, and here's a point, um, let's call it x0, y0, z0. Okay, so remember the partial derivative with respect to x is can be thought of as the slope in the x direction, and the partial derivative with respect to y can be thought of as the slope in the y direction. So, so let's draw a red line. So here's sort of a tangent direction in the x direction. Um, and this has the slope in the x direction. Is um, partial f partial x at x0, y0. And then the slope in the y direction, I'll draw a blue, blue line, so the slope in the y direction is partial f partial y at x0, y0. And then we write the equation for the plane as follows. So we write z minus z0. So what's, what's the total z displacement? Well, first of all, there's some displacement in the x direction and that has to get multiplied by the slope in the x direction. So I have df dx at x0, y0 times x minus x0 plus there's also some displacement in the y direction which causes some additional rise or fall which you find when multiplying by the slope in the y direction. So I have partial f partial y of x0, y0 times y minus y0. So this is the equation for the tangent plane. Let's do an example. Let's find the tangent plane
to the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1 at a point x0, y0, z0. Okay, so really I should be writing this as z equals plus square root of 1 minus x squared minus y squared, or z equals minus square root of blah, blah, blah. But let's write it in the implicit form because the calculation's a little nicer this way. Okay, so the equation for the tangent plane is z minus z0 equals df, sorry, dz dx at x0, y0 times x minus x0 plus dz dy at x0, y0 times y minus y0. Now, we saw how to calculate dz dx. Well, we did the example x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 9, but the number 9 actually never played a role in that calculation. So we get the same formula when x squared plus z squared, when x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1, namely minus x over z. So we get z minus z0 equals minus x0 over z0. So that's the partial z partial x at x0, y0 times x minus x0 plus, and then this one was minus y over z. And we plug in x0, y0 to get minus y0 over z0 times y minus y0. So that's the equation for the plane. We could stop there, but it's fun to simplify this a little bit. So if I multiply both sides by z0, I get z0 times z minus z0. And if I also move everything over to one side so I can change these to pluses, I get plus x0 times x minus x0 plus y0 times y minus y0 equals 0. And if you expand this out, it becomes x0x plus y0y plus d0z equals x0 squared plus y0 squared plus z0 squared. Now, we know that x0, y0, z0 has to be a point on this sphere. So therefore, x0 squared plus y0 squared plus z0 squared is 1. So the final simplified answer for this plane is x0x plus y0y plus z0z equals 1. And notice that this equation tells us that a normal vector to the plane is x0, y0, z0. That's the point we started with. So let's draw the picture and see what's going on. So here's the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1. Here's a point x0, y0, z0. So the tangent plane, here's the tangent plane of that point. And the original vector, if we think of x0, y0 as a vector, it's this vector from the origin to this point. And what we're saying is the vector from the origin to the point on the sphere is perpendicular to the tangent plane to the sphere at that point, which sort of looks right on the picture. 